Hey guys, on this episode of Raw and Uncut, we're gonna kind of break down a few of the bullshit myths. We were just discussing, because before we do these videos, we like to have a discussion about what we're gonna talk about and get an idea. So we, so we, you know, we're always gonna make sure we're giving you good content. And you were just talking about the calorie argument. Yeah, I was just saying that I've been, I've, I've been like watching, watching the trainers, I've been watching you, and there's a lot of people doing live streams about all it is is calories in versus calories out, and that's all you've got to look at, calories in versus calories out, and a lot of people are saying just stop eating shit, which is generally true, but you've got to look at where your calories are coming from, you've got to look, so if you're in a calorie deficit, that's great, but where are your calories coming from? So are they coming from protein, are they coming just from fat, are they coming just from carbs? Or are they a mixture of all three? So do you actually know, and if you're right now on a diet, do you know where your calories are coming from? If not, then I suggest you get a pen and paper and write down your food diary, and then send it to us, I'll give you a hand. But so then I think a lot of people don't actually know what a carbohydrate no. is, what food group, like a carb is, what a protein is, and what a fat is. No, and they don't understand what each of those individual attributes affects within your body as well. Because you find that most of the programs that are put out on TV talk about exactly what you just talked about. Yeah. Calories in, calories out. So there's the. Uh, I see, uh, let's move more all the time, isn't it? That's yeah, every, yeah. everywhere. And, and there was that, that TV program not long ago where they were looking at the value of how much value based yeah. on how much you weight you lost based on the food you ate. So yeah. if you lost 13 pounds on that diet, then it cost you, you know, it cost you this much in, yeah. in money. And uh, look, at the end of the day, we've said it time and time and time and time again, it's calorie deficit. If you eat less than your body requires, you will lose weight. Simple? Yeah. Yeah. Or not necessarily requires, but eat less than your... So if you're trying to lose weight and you cut your calories a little bit, you're probably going to lose some weight. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's simple. You can but be you more still effective. got to make sure you're not cutting too drastically as well. You can be more effective with your fat loss. So if you're yeah. both in a calorie deficit and one of them is getting all from carbs, you're going to have a slower response to fat loss than the person who's going to get it from mainly fat and protein. So there is an effective way to lose fat, and it is a calorie deficit, but it is where you're getting it from. Yeah, and so, I, so the, I think there's, there's so much, I'm, I'm, even I'm confused, I'm sitting there, I'm confused. So it's, it, the, pro, the problem comes is, there's so many theories on fat loss. There's so many theories on how to lose weight, best way to lose weight, easiest way to lose weight, quickest way to lose weight. And I think that's what's caused us the biggest yeah. issue, isn't it? Because yeah. people want to lose it easily and quickly. They're not really bothered about oh, how right. it does it. Stop. Uh, I think it's still recording. So it doesn't matter how. Okay. I personally think. I, yeah, yeah. I'm getting. <laughs> I'm, 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 it's, it's the <laughs> arsehole. I personally <laughs> think that the calorie argument is a valid argument. Mm -hmm. I, I do purely and totally agree with the fact that you should be getting your food from a wide range of carbohydrates, proteins, yeah. and fats. I don't think it should be just like a case of like, I eat three burgers a day and I cut down to two. However, that is it's very simple, simple. Make make you're going to lose yeah. weight. But there's also the, the, the kind of conception that if you're, there's like new research that says that you won't gain fat from just eating carbohydrates. But you've got to look at what, what is fat in the body. So if you look at fat, what is actual fat? Fat is an important substance to the body. The body isn't going to lose fat just for the sake of it. It's important. It's your survival, isn't it? Yeah. If we didn't have fat, we'd be dead. And I think people... So you need, you need fat. Are... So, like, you look at fuel. So, where's... If you've got a lot of glycogen in your body, that's the body's first source of fuel, mm -hmm. isn't it? So, if you're in a carbohydrate, heavily carbohydrate-based diet, mm -hmm. I've got a lot of fuel to lose before I hit my fat stores. Does that make sense? And I think so if you're are... limiting your carbohydrate down, it means there's less fuel in your body to use. You tap into your fat stores a lot quicker, and it's as simple as that. And with, if, uh, with regard to that, if you're substituting your carbohydrate from your diet to your to fats, for example, people are scared of fats, aren't they? Yeah. Fat's bad. No, fat isn't bad. As Chris just said, it's essential. But if you're getting calories from fat, you're actually going to physically be eating less food as well. Oh no, yeah, no, 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 no fat in the body. Yeah, yeah, fat in the body is essential. Yeah, so, but eating fat's essential as well. Yeah, yeah. And I think people are scared of that because they're like, carbs bad, fats bad, what's bad? And they don't get that. I so think a lot of that is because people don't have knowledge about. Yeah. 
foods. Oh yeah. And people just go and turn to fad diets for cookies and fix, which would And that, really that, that, that's literally it, Aisha. That is the exact it. Quick and easy. There is no such thing as quick and easy. If you've been gaining weight steadily yeah. for years, you ain't losing it. And, and as much as like ourselves as coaches, you know, we can sell you a 12 week program, and other personal trainers can sell you a four week program or a four hour program. It, there, there is no real quick fix. It's consistency, it's showing up, it's making sure that every day your food's on point. It doesn't have to be yeah. super, super clean. Just your chicken and broccoli, it just has to be consistent. So, look, the, the simple, no, this most simple way to, to explain it is your muscles and your liver can only hold so much yeah. glycogen, like you, yeah. right? So, if after a certain point you're eating more, then the, the theory is. And I know there's going to be lots of, there might be other nutritionists and stuff out there that are watching this and go outside the box, but the theory goes that you fill up your liver and your thing, and at some point, once you're taking on more clothes than your body needs, you need to store it. It gets converted to triglyceride and it's stored in the blood. So if you reduce your carbohydrates, what you effectively do is you force your body now to use the glycogen in stored liver yeah. and stored muscle. And stored muscle. Yeah. So and you start using that, and after it pop, drops down a little bit, your body then will start using triglycerides for energy because the glycogen stores from the thingy. So you can then start putting carbohydrates back and into the diet. I think the other yeah. thing to be aware of was that is, uh, yeah, fats, proteins, and carbs are all essential nutrients. Our body cannot produce fat and protein itself, it no. can produce glycogen on its own. Your pancreas yeah. and your liver secrete their own glycogen. Yes. yes. So you can, have, you, can, you can survive with no carbohydrate. Yeah. You, you can. You can't survive without any protein and fat. It's, you don't have to. But our point being is, you don't have to like cut all your carbs out to lose weight. You don't have to go on starvation diets. I know that sounds really hypocritical because some of our clients will know that we've reduced their client, their carbohydrates right down. In certain circumstances, we probably want right. to. That's always down to an individual, though, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. how they respond to it. If you're going to a coach and the first, and they literally just make every single person, regardless of their stature, standing, or whatever reduce all their carbohydrates and all they're doing is basically playing to what it is you're looking for you're looking for that quick hit fat loss to make them or weight loss yeah, everyone's a quick fix and then and then you can think they're genius there's nothing genius about creating a calorie deficit by removing a food source no but if you're not if you don't know that then that's where it gets really shitty i think that's where people get their poor knowledge is they're going shit carbohydrates bad if they're cutting it all out yeah no they're there's just an initial thing, as Chris said, to yeah. remove them. Right now, right now, they're not essential. You cut out anything, you're going to lose weight. If you cut yeah. out fat, you're going to lose weight. What's there? Cut, cut out. Oh, that's where he's, what are you looking at? He's actually got all his information. Is that? Oh, it's been on the TV. I'm bored of this subject. What are we going to think of next? What's up on TV tonight? The thing is, though, and do you know why? And it's really easy. Let's talk about the man's camp. It's really funny you say that about bored. And I think, do you know what? I know it's only joking, but you know what? I think. I think you're probably bored of hearing it. I yeah. think you're fed up of fucking hearing the same shit spewed over, spewed over. I'm going to break it down for you really, really simply. If you're gaining weight, the best thing to do is keep track your food. Yep. Yeah. And I don't mean like go on like my fitness pal and write down everything. If you write down what you had for breakfast, what you had for lunch, what you had, and then after two or three weeks, weigh yourself. Now, if you haven't lost weight, then reduce the amount of them food. So reduce your breakfast portion, reduce your lunch portion, reduce, yeah. and you will lose weight. Now, the quality of what you lose yourself. is yeah. different. You close, you close looser, the looser. You need to create a job. And that, and that is it. Yeah. Is, uh, is when you eat those foods, it's right next to how do you feel afterwards? Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like yeah. shit, or did you feel great, or did you feel fresh, whatever it, it was. It really is that freaking simple. You don't need a special diet. There is no thing as a special, you know, this diet is special, this diet will help you do it. Yeah. All diets create a calorie deficit, end of. So if you're not losing weight, and you, and you think, right, I need to go from eating my bowl of Frosties in the morning to eating, uh, I don't know, that bloke. <laughs> yeah, bowl of frost, <laughs> frost right, bowl or, to a bowl of porridge, right? You haven't got the sugar in the frosties, blah, blah, blah. We could go down all that like chemical route if we want to, but ultimately, if you had a smaller bowl of frosties, yeah. and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and maybe half a pack of crisps and one sandwich, and only half your chicken takeaway, you would lose weight. You'd be eating the same fucking food, but yeah. you would lose weight, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But you, all right, you might look crap, feel crap, and not have lots of energy and be vibrant. Nice but, 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 yes. but they don't know how to cook, do they? And don't yeah. ask any of us how to cook. Ask, ask, cook. ask a chef. They know it really eat shit. Yeah. Actually, right. I, I watch you eat porridge and a protein shake for your lunch. And that's not food. So okay, great. That's what's my lunch with my breakfast? <laughs> breakfast. So, uh, broke, broke his fast. Yeah, I broke my, I broke my fast with porridge <laughs> and a protein. And um, that's great. It's getting his nutrients in, but it's not exciting. And that's what no. people want, isn't it? Talk about the man's camp. 
Man's so, channel. Sorry about this. That's really, uh, yeah, it's true. Um, we're nine minutes into this video. So, okay. Alpha. 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 Uh, Project Alpha. So, you guys might see the ad going on uh, around Facebook. If you are a uh, somebody watching this right now and you know somebody this might relate to. So, what we want to create is okay, women are very, very good, would you agree, at recognizing when they need some help? Yeah. They're very good at going, I don't feel well, they'll go to the doctor. Yeah. Men, we don't go to the doctor. We all go to the doctor only if we really feel we're dying. I'm not saying that women are like, we'll just rush off to the doctor, but they're very good at recognizing that, you know what, I'm not feeling yeah. 100%, I'm gonna get some help. Uh, women are very good at going, all right, I'm getting a little bit out of shape, I'm, I might go and join a diet club and cut back a little bit. Or I might go and join a gym or go for a walk. Men, however, not, not all men, but some men, however, for whatever reason, will suffer in silence. True? Yeah. We know this because this is what we do. We're experienced coaches. We know that men will generally suffer in silence. Because you know what? We're men. And that's what, sorry, Asia. Right? But, <laughs> but, we're, but, we're, but we're men. And men, yeah. we, you know what I mean? We're the strong, we're the, the giving, the getting, the making sure our family are good and everything's okay. But inside, you know what? It's that. So what we're trying to do with Man Camp is, is get them guys who, so you project, know what? Project Alpha is an eight week, an eight week, Beast, isn't it really? It's not. It's, it's, it's not it's even beast. like a. It's not even a beast thing. It's a literally. It's not a beast. It's a beast of a program. It's a beast of a program. Yeah, yeah, there's so to, much to it. Yeah, knowledge bomb, isn't it? Transformations are awesome. Eight, eight weeks. Eight weeks is awesome. Um, it's, you know, two sessions per week, isn't it? Two yeah. hour sessions per week. Of yourself. Yeah. Um, so it's taking you from feeling the shit and about the way you look, about the way you feel. Over the eight weeks, taking you to where you want to go to, isn't it really? Yeah. Um, and you can you can't believe how the translations in the eight weeks they're amazing. It's, it's and for me, and, and again you know the the big one I think as well is is the take home is that it's an environment where w what we want to try and help is help men uh, be be better be better for themselves first and foremost, which makes them better husbands partners, which makes them better fathers, which makes them better at work. You know if you feel good about yourself that air of Arrogance, confidence, whatever you want to call it, you feel so much better about yourself. Yeah. So this is not your turn up, get beasted, do a boot camp, go home kind of thing. This is for men who know that they're not, they're not just them anymore. They had this, they knew what they wanted to be and what they were going to be, and then that just didn't happen. And that's the men we're looking for. And we put the ad out on Facebook. I'm just going to say while we're out there, while we're on it. We put the fact the ad out, and you always get people to go cost the cost the cost, and that's fine. You sh you know that is a question. It's a valid yeah. question, but it shouldn't be your first question. Your first question should be: Would this suit me? Does does this sound like something that you know? Am I that person? Am I the person that feels embarrassed to take his shirt off on the beach? Am I the person who feels like I can't? You know, I don't feel like I'm there for my kids enough, or I'm not there. For, you know, I'm not the husband that yeah. I wanted to be. That should be the question you're asking yourself first. I think if you're at home watching this and you're feeling shit about yourself, you're feeling shit about the way you look, you think you want to be better, you know you want to be look good, I know the Christmas coming up, you want to fit in a suit, you've got parties and you always know about what to wear. Not, 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 I'm looking at you then. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> tell you what, mate, I, there is, there is, there's, there's a reason why I'm, there's a reason why I'm taking it, isn't there? What's that? The reason yeah, I'm yeah. doing the group. There's but, a reason I'm doing the group, because I, I, you know, these guys, no disrespect, they're not dads. You know, they're, they're not they're not husbands. I mean, they, they've got boyfriends, but boyfriends. Yeah, they've got boyfriends, but you know, yeah, but you know what I mean. They like they don't they, they can't they can't relate to the people I'm trying to get at. You can't in the nicest way. They can put you through the workouts for sure, but they can't. They don't get it, and I get it. So even though I'm a coach and I'm a trainer, I I, I know what it feels like. I know the overwhelm and that and that. That almost like a pressure that you just as a man you just have to fucking ignore. So, so if you're at home watching this, yeah, as a person over the age of thirty, I'm almost to be twenty nine. <laughs> why would you come to the Alpha Project? It's not trying to sell it. It's just say, well, why would you come? So you're at home now watching this. Why would you come? Um, what, what, what would you what 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 would you, you want out of over the eight weeks? Yeah. How would you feel after? I, I, do you know what? Just to just to experience it, I think mm. I think I'd want to put I want I'd want to put that to the test. Yeah. That's that's me. I'd be like, really, 
You know what I mean? Really, eight weeks. You're really gonna like, you know, you're gonna make me feel like that in eight weeks. Yeah. I, I, I'm just, because that's the kind of person I would be. I'd be like, I'm gonna go and do that. I'm gonna just, I'm, even if to just go along and go, pretty wrong. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm pretty wrong. I'm gonna show that you can't do that in eight weeks. And then me as the coach, I'm gonna be here going, no, I'll, I'll do it in three. I'll have you bouncing in three weeks. Yeah. The last five weeks have just been the like, oh my god moment. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But if I was sitting at home right now, this would be speaking to me right now. Uh, 47, married, business owner, works all the hours he can, kids, life, general shit, finding time to train, even though I own a fucking gym, finding time to train, finding time to eat, making time to eat, feeling good about myself, give my, my, give my time, making sure my time's distributed here, there, and everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, if I've got five minutes, I, I, I might, look after me a little bit you know and that's uh, and that comes from other areas we'll do another video on that yeah cool. anything else you want to add in no no happy if you've got like, 40 if, minutes if, uh, 16 minutes before. right cool if you're watching to this point awesome you're, you're obviously a fan comment share put it out there get it around distribute it because you know what, we want to make it clear that in this town, um, we want to make sure that people know that we give a shit. It's not all about the dollars. It's not all about the, all that stuff. It's literally about working with people who really, really need some fucking help. However, that looks. On our website, there is an SOS button. Hit the SOS, AbsoluteTrainingNutrition.com. Hit the SOS button booking some time whether you're a member or non-member with you just and there's no obligation nobody's gonna sell anything to you you're not gonna come in here and like feel like you have to like buy none of that cool cool yeah. cool yeah, yeah. wicked so there you go see you soon